Hello everybody, welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. I know what you're thinking, it's Sunday, he came back early from his jet meet. Yeah, we'll go over that in a minute. We had some good come out of this weekend and we had some bad. I'm going to go over the good first. I got my main spar. Look at that hunk. That is one hunk of aluminum. See this here? The bottom and the top is half inch aluminum and these sides are quarter inch these are quarter inch now these are what dad's already got the landing gear mounted to so uh, I don't know if we'll mount to these new ones or what or take the one that he's already got the gear mounted to and put it on there I think that's what we'll probably do but uh, I got my main spar I'm gonna lay up a few slots but first I'm gonna make a gas tank for the center section I'm gonna make it this week we can butch figured out that this part holds it 1.9 gallons, almost 2 gallons in that area, and we'll stop it a little short. But that'll make a real good place for tanks. Then we're going to make our two more tanks right here in these little cheeks so they won't interfere with the bomb bays, and they'll, they will hold 2 gallons each. So we'll be carrying almost 6 gallons of fuel. That's good for a 10 minute flight on them 4 P200s. And I'll tell you what happened in Texas. We got there Friday. Uh, you know, we left Thursday, spent the night in Dallas with Butch, and uh, we drove on to Waco in the morning. We probably got there, I don't know, 10 o'clock, and it was kind of cloudy. It wasn't bad. It was just cool, cloudy, no wind. There were some jets flying, and uh, so we unloaded the trailer and uh, set up our tent, and here come the rain. Folks, let me tell you, when they talk about a Texas gully washer, that's what we is in, man. Them drops were that big. I ain't never been so wet in all my life. Oh, it just poured and poured and poured. We stood there waiting. Then here come the thunder and the, rain and the wind. So we had to load everything up in the pouring rain. Oh, it was miserable. I ain't never been so wet in my life. I even took a raincoat just in case. It didn't do no good. We was all soaked to the bone. And then, so we loaded it up and said, well, we got our spar. That was the main reason for going to Texas anyway. So we was happy. And we was coming home. We had this little trailer packed. This 16-year-old kid was getting on the on-ramp to the highway when he was driving through Oklahoma City. Lost control. Spun all the way around. Was heading for my new truck I just bought and just barely missed the truck but hit the trailer jacked it up this trailer went like eight foot in the air and bounced through us sideways I barely I don't know how I didn't crash that truck was sideways with this trailer I felt it pushing this, the roads were wet because of the rain you know but I got control of it and stopped and it did some damage to my jets uh, I ain't looked real close yet. I got to get a hold of the insurance agent and find out how I need to go about doing this. But the wings to my Hornet got jacked. The wings to the F-16 got jacked. Elevators broke on the Hornet. And uh, when we first looked in there, that F-16 was all the way on its side. So I'm sure it's jacked too. Everything in the trailer just was a mess. We had we had this real neatly organized when we back got back to Butch's. Cause, oh yeah, look way back there. Oh yeah, we got a B-58 Hustler that I kidnapped from Texas. And look at this. We got a set of landing gear with it. Watch these wheels as they come down. Bam! Is that cool or what? Paul, you know our buddy Paul, the guy who uh, made that main spar? He made these for us. Let me take these in. I'll show you a little better. But watch the okay, there's extended. Now watch as they go down. They just fold right into that wing. That is just and they work so slick. Bam. Lock. Go down. That is just too cool. Paul made these landing gear, but I ain't going to, that plug is almost done. Remember I showed it to you in Texas, but uh, 
I ain't gonna get started on it till I get the bomber finished. I might squirt some primer on it, but I, the bomber's my main focus. I just wanted to pick it up while I was there. I had some room. So here it is Sunday morning, and I got a trailer full of junk now. There's my brand new 12x radio way inside there. We had it back here, and it's way up in there now. And everything just got slung and bounced, and I think this went up against. See, that's where it crashed. So jacked up the wings to my Hornet, jacked up these wings. You can see that there. Jacked them. That's a brand new jet. Anyway, ain't never even been in the air yet. And uh, but oh well, we live and learn. So I get to get a hold of that, that kid who was 16 years old. Just got his driver's license. Guess whose truck he was driving? Daddy's. But it was weird. It was like slow motion. I seen him coming off the on ramp, and he just started spinning. And he did a complete 360, and then I hollered out, oh, no. And then Dad looked over there. Dad was with me. And Dad seen that truck. It was coming right for us. And I was doing, you know, 60 mile an hour in the pouring down rain. And the speed limit was 70, but I'd slow down to 60. And uh, that kid came off the on-ramp and just lost control. I seen it all. And he was coming right for us, and they're just... There was nothing I could do, just n absolutely nothing, and uh, just watched him come at us, and I don't know how he missed that truck, but I just bought that truck last Wednesday, and he just barely missed it, oh, just by inches, and caught the trailer, and, uh, but that's how my weekend went, but it ain't going to slow me down on the bomber, I got my main spar, I'm going to get me a hunk of styrofoam, and I'm going to whittle that into shape, then I'm going to fiberglass it, and I'm going to make me a gas tank. And I'll, uh, I'll make a video and show you guys how I do that. It's pretty simple to make a tank. Just a one-off. I'll probably just use styrofoam. And then uh, pour some lacquer thinner inside of it, and then I'll melt the foam out when I'm done. Then I can cut it apart, clean it all out inside, and tape it back together. I've made tanks like that before, and they work pretty good you know, for a custom-made tank, just a one-off. If I was going to make more, I'd make a plug. Like I did my, my F-18. It came with a little bitty gas tank, man, a little bitty thing. So I whittled this. This is that tooling board. And I whittled that to where it just barely fits in there. And then I lay up grass, glass around it, then I cut it right there where that cut mark is, pull it off, and then just put tape uh, right back on it, you know, the one inch fiberglass tape, tape it back together. But so that's my uh, fuel tank plug for F 18 Hornet. But on this one, it'll just be a one off. I'm sure there's no one out there with the B 1 bomber that needs a tank right now, so uh, I'll just do that. But that's where I am, folks. And uh, I'm going to get a hold of the insurance agent before I empty out that trailer. I don't know what to do. No one's ever crashed into a trailer full of jets before. If anyone out there's had any had this kind of experience, send me an email and uh, let me know what to do. Hey, and uh, I want to thank everybody for their support about me going flying, man. Thanks, everybody, for giving me a break. I appreciate that. I give everyone a big thumbs up to my buddies in New Zealand, Australia, uh, Norway, Russia, Japan, everywhere, everywhere. If you guys look through my uh, my subscribers list, you will find someone from every country in the world, almost. Just every Malaysia, uh, Germany, Switzerland. I mean, y'all remember Eddie from Switzerland? We threw him a little birthday party, <laughs> and. Uh, I got recognized down there at that Waco. They all knew as soon as I walked up. Ah, oh, ah, oh, there he is. Wiggle your finger so I know it's you. <laughs> it was funny. But we sure had a good time down there in Waco. Let's get a shout out to all my buddies in Waco. Uh, wish we would have got some more flying in. But uh, we still had a good time. It was nice to meet everybody. And uh, there were some nice jets there, folks. Just too bad it was pouring down rain. But uh, 
There's my phone. That's probably Butch. So until next week, folks, we will see you in the shop.